Hello and welcome to this introductory video for Xamarin Bridge for Test Complete. First, let me go ahead and open up Xamarin Studio and I'm going to create a brand new project. We'll go to Android, we'll create an Android application. We'll call it uh, Bridge and we'll say OK. All right, so this is the sample, of course, the code to create a, a button text to go ahead and, and show you a number of clicks, uh, exactly like how every single project for Xamarin starts, to give you a little bit of an idea of how to create an Android application for uh, in the Xamarin Studio. If I go ahead and compile this application and run it, let's go ahead and make it a release, for instance, and I'm going to go ahead and compile it and run it. It will ask me if I would like to go ahead and uh, select which device. I'm going to go straight to my machine, to my device. It's a Samsung S4 in here. We'll say OK there. And it will deploy to the, the device and install the application on the device as well. So now the application has been deployed to my device. Let's go ahead and open up Test Complete. And in Test Complete 10, there is now a new toolbar button called Show Mobile Screen. Let's click on that. And you will notice that Test Complete is going to try to connect directly to my uh, actual device. So this is live from my device right now. And there is my application that says, Hello World, with Click Me. And I can click it directly from the mobile screen in here in, in, uh, in Test Complete. And I'll see that every time I click on it, it will definitely run the code. One interesting part is that if I click on the object browser in Test Complete, we'll do a refresh right there. You will notice that under the mobile section, it does actually recognize that there is a device for Samsung S4 connected to my machine, but there is no plus sign next to this device in here. And the reason for that, the application has not written, uh, been written using, for instance, uh, Eclipse using Java, which Test Complete has been written uh, to use. So with the new component in the marketplace for Xamarin that Falafel Software is putting out there, um, you can definitely go ahead and recompile this app in Xamarin by including our component, which is a simple uh, assembly that needs just to be referenced. You will automatically be able to get into any Xamarin for Android application and see all the objects inside of it as well. So let me show you how simple that would be to accomplish. I'm going to go back to uh, the uh, Xamarin Studio. And here under References, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on that and we'll edit the references. And you will see our assembly that we actually brought in, and this is the first one right there. It's called Falafel TC Bridge.dll. So let's go ahead and, and uh, add that to the selected references. We'll say OK. And automatically, the Falafel TC Bridge will be added. And that's pretty much most of what you need to do. The other thing is, on your main activity, you need to pretty much initialize um, that DLL or that object for the DLL. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here right after the uh, calling the base for the onCreate, and I'm going to say falafel, there it is, dot, there is the bridge, dot, test complete, dot, initialize, and I will initialize it by passing this dot application. There it is. And that's everything you possibly can do to actually use our bridge to allow Xamarin application uh, to be accessible through the object browser and the object spy from test complete. So now let's go ahead and uh, recompile this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, redeploy it to the machine, the device itself for Samsung S4. There we go. We'll deploy it again. It will not take a long time right now because everything else is available on the device already. It will remove the package from before, there it is, and now it's going to in, in, uh, install the new package after the recompilation. And it is successful. All right, let's go back to test complete. I'm going to refresh this one more time. And notice now after the refresh, there is a plus sign. Actually, all of a sudden, test complete can see inside of the device. It can see the process for bridge. It can see the root layout. You can see the button, the action bar, the top action bar, or all the other devices available inside of it as well. Not only that, but you can easily use the object spy now, which you couldn't do before without this bridge using Xamarin apps, to be able to drag this object spy. And you can see you can have the red rectangle around every single object inside of the UI for every screen to be able to click on it. 
Uh, it will recognize it, tell you what the name of the object is exactly. You can click on the tree view button in test complete and it will highlight that object directly in the hierarchy of the object browser. I could of course take any property as you can see in here, let me remove this a little bit. These are all the different properties available on the button. For instance, you can see there's a lot of them in here. I can uh, start calling any of these properties. I can actually interact with all the fields. So it's a real access to the entire object le uh, level inside of the application itself, as well as the methods. I can see all the standard methods, the uh, action method, but also all the Java methods are available. There is tons and tons of them in the thousands that you can call available on that object. So even if your R&D have created a class with object inside of it, inside of the application itself, not only the UI piece, but you will be able to call in any method or field or property available on any of these objects in the layout. At the end, I really uh, hope you enjoy this new uh, assembly that will allow you to use Xamarin and Android uh, to be able to test your application instead of test complete by including just one assembly called the Falafel TC Bridge.dll and including that one liner, as you can see in here, that the Falafel Bridge test complete initialization by passing the application object itself. And you are done at this point. Your application will be seen automatically in the system. I hope you enjoyed it and you can enjoy the Xamarin Bridge for Test Complete from Falafel Software.